Hey, what's up guys? My name is Grady. I'm with Simply Embedded and today I'm going to talk about Digiland P1 Nav and I'm going to compare it to some other cheaper navigation sensors. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, I just wanted to let you know that this video is not supported by Digiland or anyone else, but it could be, but, it, but it's not. So. Yeah. All the products mentioned in this video can be found in the links in the description below. So make sure you check them out. So let's look into this PMOD. So the Digilon PMOD nav features nine axis LSM 9DS1 and IMU plus barometer sensor LPS 25HB. It costs $29.99 plus $9.99 for shipping. Whether you buy it on Digilon's website or on Amazon, it doesn't matter. The price is the same. The 9-axis sensor is a system in a package that consists of 3-axis accelerometer, 3-axis gyroscope, and 3-axis magnetometer. It also has an embedded temperature sensor in it. The data from any of those 3-axis sensors is 16 bits wide and signed. So we have a pretty good accuracy there. Now you can use this sensor in various products wherever you would use an accelerometer, magnetometer, or a gyroscope for example, creating a drone, but whatever product you might use it for, maybe a GPS or a tracking device, whatever it might be, it's up to you. So it's your design, you're creating it. Let me know in the comment sections below what would you do with this sensor. Digiland has provided a lot of resources that come along with this PMOD for free. So you can use their example projects, you can also use this PMOD with Arduino and Digiland has provided resources for that as well. So you have a lot of flexibility there. But now the real question is, is it really worth the $40? Well, you can actually get the 9-axis sensor and the barometer for half the price on Amazon. So, but it ships from China, so the shipping might take a long time. And I'm not sure about the quality. So that's a question there as well whether or not it's worth it. But if you're just testing it out and playing around, paying 20 bucks less for a product, I mean, why not? You're saving 20 bucks. Although this one features a different sensor, the MPU9250 for the nine axis and BMP180 for the barometer. So when we compare the nine axis and the barometer from this product to the one from the PMOD nav, we can see what are the differences. There are some differences, but they're fairly similar. So when we look at this table, we can see that the gyroscopes are pretty much the same. There's both 16 bits signed and the range is also almost the same. The accelerometers are almost exactly the same. There's literally no difference. Plus minus two, plus minus four, plus minus eight, plus minus 16. The accelerometers are on spot the same. The last one from the 9-axis one is the magnetometer. So the cheaper one is 14 bits wide, which is less than the one from Digiland. And the cheaper one only has one full scale range. So it has no flexibility there. So it's plus minus 48 Gaussian and that's it. Although the one from Digiland has some flexibility there and it's more accurate in that sense. So for the parameter, the pressure ranges are fairly the same. Digiland's product has more accuracy again and uh, more flexibility there. So that's the difference. So based on this, Digiland's PMOD is more accurate and has a better product on it. It has a better product on it than the cheaper one, which is why the price difference also they provide the resources that come with the PMOD. Another thing is that if you're using Digiland's development boards, then they have the PMOD connectors. There are 12 pins and they're direct fit for the Digiland PMOD. For the other sensor, you would have to do some soldering there, putting some wires and making sure it will work. It's, it's the correct uh, voltage range and everything, it will work. But you won't have that convenience of just plugging it in and having it ready. And so if you're willing to put in the effort of putting soldering some wires and so on and doing that for to save 20 bucks it's worth it 
if you don't care about accuracy, if you don't care about accuracy. Also, if you just need the 9-axis sensor, you can get it for 849 instead of paying the 20 bucks or the 40 bucks. So you can get the 9-axis sensor for very cheap. And if you want the barometer separately as well, you can get it for 799 And that equals to a total price of 1648 So if you want to save even more money, you can buy them separately. Why not, huh? So I've created a poll. It's in this corner right here. So make sure you click that and vote for which option you would go with or you're actually planning to go with. So make sure you check it out. And if you're tech savvy and you want to create your own SBI interfaces and so on, I would, uh, I'm, I'm sure actually that these products, the cheaper ones, have some material online. So if you know any information about having that information online, please make sure you leave that in the comment sections below and so that other people would find that and they can refer to that and save maybe some money and do some soldering themselves and figuring stuff out. So thank you so much for contributing to this community. If you're new to this YouTube channel, consider subscribing and make sure you ring the bell to get notifications for future video uploads. Other than that, keep up the good work and I'll see you next time.